wanna know, full of self doubt. And to be honest, it has never brought me down. No, 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 no. I'm really glad I'm not walking around. Believing my inflated ache brain has figured it out. And suddenly, everybody what's up welcome it is new year's eve the last day of 2022 and you know what um looking back at the year it's been a wild one for me as many of you may know i've you know had a major loss in the family and you know things have changed forever so i am i'm here to you know wave 2022 goodbye other than that, uh, let's talk about a few things. Let's talk about the community. If you want to come up and panel, you are more than welcome. Just send me a message and then come on up. Um, so I had a guest on. Uh, you could say a divisive guest on yesterday. And we talked about a few things, but it seems a lot of people took offense to that. But what is the problem to have somebody on your panel to talk about things that I would say need to be changed in the community, right? Because there's a lot going on that, you know, a lot of people are feeling, hey, um, this might need to change. You know, this might uh, be wrong. 
maybe we can work on this as a community together. Like there's lots of talks over and over and over again in different panels and whatnot about the community and being a uh, family and whatnot. But then when push comes to shove, the reality is it seems it really isn't a family. It seems, or if it is, it's a dysfunctional one. Hey, Lurking Kitty. Hey, everybody just coming in. Melinda, Jackie, H, Justai, Luna, Mary, Daisy, Ami, what's up? Have a good one, Theresa, Blue Eyes, Maggie K, Amy, Judy. So, yes, um, I had DC on, and a lot of people now are coming to the conclusion that, that I am teaming up with DC. I was having somebody on a panel to talk about something, teaming up with them. I don't get this. I don't understand. Somebody enlighten me. Why is, and even with that, why does it have to be a team up? As if there's teams. I thought this was a community where, you know, you looked out for one another. You were there for one another. But it seems that is all a farce, right? It seems that there are cliques, there are teams. Because if you're saying I'm teaming up with somebody, then that just tells me there are teams to team up with. Chef Leftovers. Hi there. Tiger Paw, what's up? Maggie K. No one can't just come on and have a fear conversation. If I give one person, you know, a the ability to come on panel and say their piece without shutting them down, then I would hope that we could give that to everybody else. Yeah, Mallory Dawn says you had a level headed adult conversation with DC. That's all. Right, exactly. Hey Cypher. Right, Nolabu says DC is very controversial. Yeah, that is true. She's very controversial right now because if you know what's happening, um, seems people are talking about lawyers and evidence and this and whatnot. So I wonder what the shakeup will be come 2023. I personally, what did I do wrong? I had somebody on panel. They said their piece. The chat was uh, had a lot of people than usual. I'll admit that. And, you know, at that one point, I think Mary was the only mod. So we had a little bit of uh, trouble keeping up, keeping the chat clean while having a conversation. So a lot of people's questions weren't answered. That's it. Yeah, I simply did an interview. We got Holly. Mac Dizzle says it was a very good conversation. There was absolutely nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I think so. I think in all fairness, I think what I said yesterday is what I'll say again today. We need to establish a, a bare minimum that if somebody's going to say something about somebody else, like a creator, then at least provide some evidence. Yep, the chat had a ton of people who have never been here before. Exactly. Exactly. But it seems uh, the girl world loves running on drama, loves running on causing hellish hell, hell in people's lives. And as DC has said, and I've reiterated many times before, it seems everybody gets a turn, right? Where I always wondered why there was a lot of huge turnover in terms of Go World. Like there's always new channels coming up, but then there's always other channels going out, like leaving the space. Like people will just either delete their channels, and I've seen several channels come and go, even in my short time here. Or they'll just move on to other things. Daisy Amy says, I agree, Monty. Even fathers don't like DC. I do like hearing from her to get her side. Yeah, of course, we got to get somebody else's side. We've been hearing, if you hear one side, at least hear the other side. You don't have to agree with the side. Just at least hear the side out so you have a complete understanding of what both or multiple parties are saying. I think that's just fair and mature thing to do as adults. Yeah, thanks. Shadows to Mirror for being a great mod. So throughout my time, I've seen a lot of dirty things go down in the Girlverse where people make things up about other people or, you know, uh, put things out there and see if it sticks. And if it sticks, then the rumors start. The rumors start. The ball gets rolling. Then people start calling people certain things, certain names. And then it just continues and keeps going and going and going and going. And it's not fun if you're a creator. 
Hi there, Karina. Welcome. When, you know, you are, you're, you know, reacting to certain things and then all of a sudden overnight, uh, you, you are the person of interest. You're the one being brigaded on. You're the one who people are making rumors on anywhere and everywhere. Uh, whether it be in discords or on YouTube, videos are being made, people making up things about you, doing timelines that they have no idea about, um, saying certain things that they would not have any idea about, and they just continue with it. More and more and more and more. It's rather ugly, but it continues because a lot of people here well, I shouldn't say here as in, you know, my chat, but there's a lot of people out there that enjoy this kind of content. They enjoy the chaos of it. They enjoy, you know, having people go through certain things which, you know, can affect your mental health. And the more I'm here, the more um, I see more creators go through it. And I have this understanding of why they leave. AV, AMP. So, um, what can I say? Um, once again, everybody gets their turn. Right now, I'm seeing that certain rumors are being made of, uh, well, myself and DC, of course. And uh, seems breezy now is being called just boozy, which I think is just wrong. Because if you have successfully kicked an addiction congratulations to you because there was a certain person I worked with that was addicted and she would always say my I'm the only one left because all my other friends didn't make it and I do watch a lot of documentaries and shows and I do go out and volunteer certain places you know certain a lot of these things that people just don't know about me but, um, yeah, she would always be like, yeah, I'm the only one of my friends, you know, left because I, I, I kicked the addiction. I'm the one who uh, survived. Unfortunately, all my other friends didn't make it. So for some people to be, you know, do saying and doing mean things when somebody's kicked an addiction, addiction is nasty. And you're not going to do all the right things when you're in the thralls of addiction. And... The worst thing to do is like poke fun and, you know, at somebody that has survived what is considered like a horrible situation. They should be congratulated, not not ridiculed. So calling Breezy just boozing is just wrong. Thank you, Blue Eyes. Happy New Year, Monty and Mons. Happy New Year when it comes to you, Celebrity Juicer. Fun sense is all just cross boundaries now being stepping back as it's just not the same Maureen and the complete opposite of entertainment. Yeah, whatever happened to lighthearted entertainment, whatever happened to, you know, reacting and it being fun and lighthearted. Hey, if I react to Chantel, then Chantel, by all means, react to me. Make it like lighthearted. The attacking and the... uh the nastiness, it's just gone too far. Target Palm Babino says, attacking Breezy is hard when sobriety is just not cool. It isn't cool. Because I have a good understanding of what's happening. All right, so we got here. Reactions and things says, Veronica and Sarah Jane took the same heat for interviewing you for a long time. Yeah, and look what happened. What came to light? What was Booty Bitch doing? Lying. So if people knew the whole truth and everything before they started attacking BBW, Veronica, and Sarah Jane, then it wouldn't have happened, now it, would it? But once again, people just take people at their word like they did with Buddha without knowing anything about her until things started to come out. So this is the problem. This is what I talked about yesterday. I'm like taking people at their word without any evidence. Because then look what happened after the whole events in September. Then in October, I was being accused of sending PP pictures, which I didn't send. And then there was evidence that I didn't send these PP pictures. And she was lying because she wanted to what? 
double up her audience and have people brigade on me again. All for what? For the clout, maybe? Who knows? But this is exactly what I am talking about. It's atrocious behavior. Yeah, people do jump on bandwagons, and that is part of the problem. And it seems to keep happening repeatedly over and over and over. And it seems you could be a target at any time. Why is girl world so toxic? Why do people, when they speak on girl world, they say, of all the communities I'm in, this is the most toxic of them all. Like it wears down your mental health and people leave. How many people have I talked to or tell me that they won't be back? How many people have I talked to that said um, it's wearing on their mental health? Mental health. Uh, how many people have said, you know, uh, I can't, I can't do this anymore. It's an extremely toxic community. Uh, celebrity juicer said, yeah, she revealed her straight up racist self. Well, yeah, well, the whole brown and dick situation that was happening there. I mean, yikes. Even though the picture looked like it was just um, <laughs> shaded. You know, I don't even want to get back into that because that was just um completely bad situation back then. But the, proud, the, the key takeaway from that whole situation is that she was believed. Because why? She knew how to be um, extremely believable because she knew how to manipulate people. And hey, I didn't um, clue in until it was too late that she was good at manipulating. I should have taken... You know what? What's that line that says when people, when people tell you who they are, uh, you should believe them? Well, she said that. She used to manipulate the crap out of people in Calgary, and that's why she wasn't liked. So I should have believed it. So as Tiger Paw says, Buddha was incredibly, incredibly toxic and damaging. Yep. And I didn't believe it. And then what was worse was the recording of conversations like, yikes. I've been hearing from a few people she would record their conversations. I didn't even know she was recording conversations with me. Until all of a sudden, on a live stream, somebody's like, yeah, she was recording your conversation. And I'm sure if I said anything mean or rude or bad, it would have come out, right? Because that was the point of recording the conversations, to paint me into a bad light. But the problem is, out of the hours and hours of conversing with her, I wasn't negative. I wasn't mean. I didn't say anything bad. I was actually positive. I really and truly wanted to help. And um, look what happened. And how many times have I helped people on here? Thank you, Celebrity Juice. It was my Angelou. Thank you. And look what it has gotten me. Look where it's gotten me. Yeah, Amy Judy. I, I couldn't believe it, but yeah. Daisy Amy says, Buddha is friendless IRL for a reason. It is clear that she's attention-seeking at any cost. Yeah, it's clear right now. And there's a reason why, yeah, she would say that she doesn't have anybody to talk to. Looking back at things, it kind of makes sense now. Like, you know, burning through your bridges, burning through your options and whatnot. Yep, don't get burned again. Exactly, Theresa. You got to you gotta be cautious on these YouTube screets and whatnot. Not streets, screets. And, you know, just be aware that, you know, not everybody's trying to be your friend when, you know, people act friendly. Reactions and things says, I just feel bad for all the people who are dogpiled over the shitty people on this platform. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, Amy Judy. I really do appreciate that. But it seems everybody I've helped has slapped me in the face. Like I've been very generous to people. I've tell people so many ways, raised funds for their burns, raised funds for their cancer treatment, raised funds for them to, you know, keep their home, keep their place. Uh, what have I got? A slap in the face. But hey, 
2022 is the last day. What can I say about this community? Hopefully changes come into effect. I really hope every every party can come at, uh, towards the table and really have a sit down, work out their grievances, and uh, just make it right in 2023, even though Mary would say otherwise, it's never going to change. And a part of me will feel the same way how you feel, Mary. It seems things might never change based on what I've been seeing. For sure, Milk B. That's why you got to get professional help. She didn't know what she was doing and she kept on doing it until, you know, um, people started becoming aware. Because it's all good when, you know, it's Monty getting dogpiled. It's all good when Monty gets shit-talked. She was enjoying it, laughing, having a good old time until it started to happen to her. Then she didn't like it and now she's gone. Is 2023 the year that Chantel gets her shit together? That is a good question. Is it going to be the year she gets her shit together? Hopefully, we shall see. Um, some people are looking at 2023 with, you know, uh, glisten, glistening eyes. Other people are looking at 2023 with dread. What say you? Are you looking at 2023 as in a positive or are you looking at it as a negative? Uh, Built to Spill says, Hi, Monty. I wanted to drop in and say hi and thank you for holding strong and balanced. I haven't been around much. Well, thank you, Built to Spill. Mary says, I feel like that because it's been going on for so long. And it's my belief that if any party wanted to stop the mess, they would just stop. Be the change you want to be. Yeah, very true. And didn't they, uh, wasn't their apologies done like two years or so ago? So what happened with that? Why did it start back? Cypher says, I'm more worried about my crap. Chantel can live in her filth. Yeah, a lot of people will say that. Yeah, Chantel can just, you know, live, live in her... The BS that she uh, she's caused for herself. After 2020, anything is better. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that. 2020 was a crazy year. Especially with the uh, the vid. Ah, and hey. We shall see what happens. Subkey, what's up? Real life is complicated enough. Exactly. Sometimes I think people are taking the internet a little bit too seriously. Clicking up, being in Discord chats, um, waging online wars between one channel versus another, or a group of channels versus other channels. This year has been horrible to you. I'm so sorry to hear, Karina. Hopefully next year is a lot better. Fresh Flower says, I mean, technically some of this is really first world problems. It is a lot of first world problems. I mean, how many first world problems have we seen that seem the making making um, mountains over molehills in terms of Pete's example, going to his mom. I'm like, it's not a big deal. Pete's just get there. Wake up early in the morning and get there. Uh, other things that have happened that are just completely first world problems. Maggie K says, I wish Chantel would take advantage of the sites and things to do in such a beautiful country lately. The streams are at home. She should be out exploring. Yeah. All it doesn't you don't have to, you know, use money. You can she can walk. They can walk. Maybe Murad can take her on his bike. Who knows? But all I'm saying, yeah, it seems her streams have been at home which is literally what she was doing previously. The home stuff. Hey, our Brownstein. Um, welcome to the chat. Tiger Boss says, I look forward to a fresh new year and you're, you're cautiously optimistic. Nice. That's good. I am optimistic for a good 2023, at least the second half. Um, I think there's a lot of things I still need to do for the first half of 20, 
23, but looking forward to the second half and see where I go from there. Uh, but hey, um, I wish everybody the best and whatnot. I cannot believe uh, Pope Benedict passed away. The last, was it the last day? When did he, uh, when did he pass away? Mike, there's so much people. Every day you're hearing about people who have influenced um, the world. So it's Pope Benedict the uh, 16th. Yeah, unfortunately he uh, passed away. December 31st, Vatican City, 2022. Uh, they're saying it was today as per his wiki. Yikes. Yeah, Barbara Walters as well. So many people. Pele from a few days ago. Theresa says, I'm hoping Ray's okay, but all that you did for her, I find it strange that she never comes in. Your chat and supports you like you did her. Have a prosperous and happy new year. Thank you, Theresa S. Yeah, he wasn't Pope for a long time because uh, of his ailing health. I did see an article before he uh, he passed about uh, why he resigned and whatnot. Uh, well, he did live a long life. 95 years old is nothing to scoff at. That's a pretty long-lived life. Yep, Anonymous says, hope we are all, hope we all have better 2023. Sorry for your loss, Monty, and all who lost somebody this year. Rest in peace, Pelly and Pope Benedict, most recently, exactly, Anonymous. My condolences to anybody who's lost anybody this year or within the last few years. The story broke today about the Pope, right, exactly, Tagapa. But hey, um, looking forward to 2023, hopefully new things, new events. Uh, maybe a lot of people can leave their their grievances with others online back in 2022, even though I doubt it. Belize and Mimi, what's up? Hey, okay, so um, once again, if you want to join, if you want to speak to me, come on up. I don't mind. Even if you don't agree with certain things, I'm not the type of person to uh, shut you down. Just because we have opposing thoughts, feelings on certain matters. I would rather you come up and we have a civil conversation rather than shutting people down because um, I don't like what they're saying. I'd rather have a conversation about it. That's how I do things. But it seems certain people don't like that. They don't like when people have a fair chance to say or state their opinion because they want everybody to think the same, I guess, feel the same. But how how is that going to work out in real life when everybody's thinking and feeling the same? Would you want that? That isn't being free. That isn't freedom, where people tell you where to go, what to do, what to say, where you can't go. That isn't right. I wouldn't feel like I'm living my life in such circumstances. Karina says it's not okay to live with hate. Exactly, Karina. You're so sad you love Barbara Walters. Yeah. My goal in 2023, you're going to get on panel. Well, anytime. Anytime, Nolibu. As usual, if you want to get on panel, just send me a message on Twitter or Instagram. Hopefully you have one of those. If not, I mean, it's okay. But I'm here. Um, what else is there? No, really, what else is there? <laughs> well, what else can I say? I'm looking forward to what is happening in 2023 in terms of who I've been reacting to. I always wish people, you know, positivity. I feel like wishing negativity on somebody's like... Uh, you know, it, it kind of takes a hold of you. Hey, AJ, what's up? Reactions and things says, I hate when people try to control where you go in this community. Yeah, 
I can't believe it it happens, but it actually does happen. People will try and control where you go. If they see you in somebody else's chat, they don't like, they'll message you. I've heard of stuff like this happening, you know, keeping people in line and in check. I'm like, that's ludicrous. Why, why do this? Why control where people go? Like people aren't free to go wherever they want. People can't do, can people can't listen to whoever they want. Why? Do we know who did the calls? Um, me personally, no idea, but I'm sure that's going to come out in time. What I didn't like about the whole call situation is automatically just blaming people without truly knowing who did the calls. In fact, it's like... <sighs> It's just it's just a another way to you know put the blame on somebody without factual evidence and that is just not cool. I thought when certain people came in the community it might shake it up for the better. Yeah, exactly reaction and things, telling people where to go and what to do um is is literally dictatorship. So, Melinda, you're sending praise to just reason. Okay. Yeah, very confusing. Miami Vice, I see. I don't pick up the phone if I don't recognize the number. People need to start doing that. True. Did the year went by fast? Some people might not say so. It all depends on your outlook. Some people thought the year was slow. Other people thought it was fast. The blaming happens on both sides. Both sides do it. It's a shame, but it is what it is. That's fair, actually. Um, very fair, to be honest, because yeah, there's there's so much um going on. But alas, hey Chef Leftovers, what's up? From July till now went fast, says Milk B. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, uh, typically I don't pick up random phone numbers myself because there's this duck cleaning company that's just consistently just calling me from all these like random numbers. And it's so annoying. They'll call several times a day, always wanting to um, give you duck cleaning. It's like, holy crap. Well, this bill says I started to give GCMG a chance because they said who I should or shouldn't watch. And she does good content when not about her haters. Yeah, she does do good content. This is why I'm saying, you know, why um, blackball somebody when they can provide you with entertainment? Isn't YouTube, the whole point of YouTube is to give you entertainment? Was not the whole point. Lighthearted entertainment, you kind of laugh and chuckle at the silliness that was Foodie Beauty. But then it got dark with the whole Nether situation. I'll admit that. But still, some people could still give good advice. Tell her she has to leave. She didn't listen. And still keep it lighthearted. But then, you know, things were, you know, were just escalating and escalating and escalating and escalating. I have a friend who wants to go live at a lighthouse because he can't stand people anymore. Oh, the oh, you have a friend that wants to go live at a lighthouse. Oh, yes. A lot of people are becoming like that, where they want to be away from society, people, and whatnot. They just want to live their lives away from people because they just can't stand the uh, the cattiness, the cat calling, the... They're just socially avoidant. They don't want to deal with people anymore because of all the drama and all the bullshit. Miami Vice says, up next, Salah left me arc. Is this going to actually be something? Salah left me arc? <sighs> A lot of people say, yeah. I mean, I can't say it can never happen. I'm just saying it. it it's possible. In fact, we could do a vote right now. 
I spent a weekend at a lighthouse. It was amazing. Nice. What I would want to do is like do a tiny house. Maybe like a weekend. Or maybe just overnight at a tiny house. See how it is. They have tiny houses in my area. Actually. I want to say my area. I live in the second biggest country in the world. So uh, you got to say two to three hour drive is my area. <laughs> to some people, that's a whole nother country. Uh, for me, it's my area. So I would love to be um, stay a night or a weekend at a tiny house. They even offer it in the winter. But I wonder how warm it is. Because you're literally, it's a bed. And then every it's like a little room. I'm how big is it? Is it like like a seven by five or something like that? Or something like super small. It's like super small. AK, that's why it's a tiny house, right? Yes. Tiny house in the woods during the winter. That's what they're offering. It would be a, a good experience because you see all these shows about tiny homes. So why not? It'd be nice. AL says I am a house hobbit. <laughs> okay, nothing wrong with being a, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Milk B ones, you want your own mountain? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I feel like that. All right, so um, it's easy to keep clean. I guess so. I guess it is easy to keep clean. You're building a tiny home right now, Nolubu. It's so cool when you finish your welcome, Monty. It's 224 square foot. Nice, Nolubu. That's pretty awesome. Love to see pictures once you're done. That would be amazing. Why not? All right. Uh, let me check something because I'm going to look at what is going on. Uh... Wait a second. What is this? Is Misimu still going at Breezy again? So apparently, just Breezy today is the only creator who can have your picture in a video title FYI, public service announcement. But I see my picture many times on our channel. Guys, rules will never apply. Oh, they still going at it, huh? Okay. I mean, uh, what can I say? Yeah, but that's pretty cool, Nolibu. Enjoy your tiny house when it uh, it's done. Luna, you want to live in a cabin in the woods? Nice. All right. So, last call. Should I should I give a last call? I think I should give a last call. Last call, if you want to be on panel. I know yesterday was considered controversial. I actually didn't think it was going to be that controversial, to be honest with you. In all honesty, I, was, I thought we were just going to have a conversation where, you know, certain things were just addressed that people stop doing this brigading thing where you truly don't know where, where um, you know, the, who the calls came from. So let's just not blame people willy-nilly like that. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, people are, you know, having displeasure at this. I'm like, but why? Why can't somebody just say their piece? Without hurling insults at another party. Were insults hurled? No. She was just saying what she was saying. No one was cursing. No one was, you know, stomping up a storm. We just had a mature, easy, laid-back conversation about certain things. And about what's going on in the community. You live or you love Cabin in the Woods? Debbie, what did you mean? Debbie says, yeah, adult conversations are weird these days. Yeah, like, uh, I wish this were the case. You could have a civilized conversations. Because I've seen panels. I've seen panels where people have grievances with each other. And then it ends up in a shit show where, you know, one person starts getting, you know, louder and louder and louder. And screaming. And then all, all sorts of stuff just, you know, happened. I'm like, why can't we just have a conversation where people aren't screaming on top of each other? It's like, uh, what? Can we just have that once? Like these, some panels or just shit shows. Exactly, Amy, and that's what I thought it was—a civil conversation. And like I've, like I keep saying, anybody and everybody can come up. I'm not gonna tell people they can't come up. 
I won't because I've had people who have had disagreements with, you know, DC come up. For example, uh, Jen's views is more than welcome to come up. You know, we just got to keep it uh, kosher, though. Um, Jen's views came up the, the day before she said her piece. DC Media came up yesterday and said her piece. Like, I'm not trying to um, stifle anybody. Allegedly, Dina says it was a completely reasonable conversation. Readers who can't handle it have no life coping skills. Exactly. I will say that. Fun Sun says it's harder to have a fear conversation worth it though. Uh, it can be harder to have a very fear conversation because then you got to have, um, you know, the reasoning intellect to host and the ability to, you know, see other people's point of view, especially if you don't disagree. Some panels are like love and hip hop reunions. Yikes. I know what you mean, Fairy Elf. But yeah, hopefully we can leave this all in 2022. Leave it all behind. Hopefully everybody's spending their last day well and whatnot. And hopefully we can have a better 2023. I'm not sure if I, I probably will be on later tonight. We'll, we'll see though. Uh, wow, 2023 really ended. We had like Andrew Tate, he got arrested. A lot of people are loving it, some people are not liking it. Uh, what else? Oh boy, unfortunate events of you know, popular individuals, Barbara Walters and Pope Emeritus Benedict passing away. We're having uh, cop calls. We're having lawyer talks. Community still divided. Nora says, none of us truly know these people. So for a viewer to take someone's word as gospel is uh, start throwing insults is strange to me. Yeah, that is very strange to me. It is. I, I will wholeheartedly agree with this because, yeah, you're you're... A lot of people are just really taking um, someone's word as the be all and end all. And then starts throwing insults. And we've seen multiple examples of that over the past where it just doesn't go right. It doesn't work out. Fun Sun says exactly in these situations, everyone has a part to play and must admit this. Yeah, I think admittance is the first step to Rod's resolve in the problem. Recycle your pizza boxes. Is that the motto or the uh, takeaway of Andrew Tate's arrest? Recycle your pizza boxes. Exactly. I was wondering why small dick energy was trending. Like, uh, what was it, two days ago? And I totally get it. Well, Greta Thornburg said, like, small dick energy at getalife.com or something was her tweet. <laughs> One of her tweets to Andrew Tate. I was like, okay, why is, uh, why is SDE trending? Then I figured it out. Nolabu says, Monty, we need to see you show up Pete's by making a meatloaf better than him. I know he can. Yeah, I totally need to do that. I need to uh, show him up. I didn't know how. No, he got arrested. Well, he, yeah, he did. He got arrested in Romania as per a pizza box that showed that he was at his mansion in Romania. On charges of human tra trafficking and other things. Greta is a badass. Yeah, Greta Thornburg is cool. Cypher is like top G energy. Because, you know, Andrew Tate is the top G. Allegedly, supposedly. Whatever. Yeah, I need to make that meatloaf. All right, Bill to Spill says they don't recycle pizza boxes here due to grease content in them, lol. Yeah, they say if your boxes are greasy, you're actually supposed to put them in compost. That's what they say. Now, cooking rivalries, I can get behind. Yeah, it would be nice if there was like, you know, we could come together as a community and do like cook-offs. If S-Jam was around, I would cook off against S-Jam. I would cook off against Pete's. 
Uh, who else? Roman or Roman. I'm not sure about Nader, though. Nader is kind of like an outlier here. But that would have been fun, right? Wouldn't you all would want to watch that if the community wasn't as toxic as it is? Wouldn't you guys want to watch guys do a cook-off? Like maybe once a week we choose a dish and we go on um, StreamYards. We're all live streaming at the same time. And we would do like a cook-off. You have like an hour or an hour and a half to, you know, finish this meal. And then we get like that hour, an hour and a half to do the meal. I guess you can't taste test it, but for presentation, right? And how it looks and what we're doing would be nice. That'd be kind of cool. Mary says, Monty, if you make the meatloaf, check out Jenny Can Cook. She has great recipe and she's hilarious. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Cooking with DLF. Yikes. I mean, I guess against DLF. DLF can cook somewhat. Yeah, can you imagine me doing a meatloaf cook-off? Exactly, built to spill. That's that. This would be a really amazing idea. Unfortunately, we haven't heard anything from S Jam. Hopefully, he's doing all right. The community didn't treat him um, fairly, even though he had his own problems. I'm just saying that we all have our own issues, and one of the things is when we say too much about what's happening in our lives a lot of other people like to use it against us like s jump talked about you know his drinking he talked about his inability with his rent and whatnot he talked about the problems that a lot of us go through in life and what happened a lot of people are using it against him in a very mean nasty and mean-spirited way same thing they're doing with Breezy. Breezy talked about her life and, you know, her battle with sobriety. What are people doing now? Calling her just boozy. I wouldn't I wouldn't do that personally because I know it's a it's a fight when it comes to addiction. So I wouldn't do that. But it keeps happening, happening to the point where, hey, you just you just can't talk about your personal life, especially in this space. Maybe other spaces out there, I've seen people talk on end about their stuff but for this space it's toxic and it becomes even more toxic the more people know about your your personal life and what you say they'll just use it against you scoffing says that so long yeah if people are opening up you know they're being vulnerable they are you know trusting you with this information exactly it's inappropriate people should be supporting others but the thing is that people are not supporting others they're actually using someone's vulnerability against themselves built to spill says breezy dot grave with how passively aggressively she commented on chin's addiction yeah there's a there's a lot to this i'm not saying that it's that shallow i'm just saying you know uh it's an iceberg isn't that the new thing well i shouldn't say new it's been going on for a while like doing talking about icebergs like how deep does this iceberg go you would you would love it if you saw monty and nads cook off i think i can cook better than him he ain't that great of a cook we could do beef wellington how about that <laughs> Or is that too much? Maybe start off with something something uh, slow. <laughs> Fun Sun says it doesn't matter who said what, but one for one doesn't make it even true. Yeah, but hey, that's, that's the community. I didn't make it. Where one of the rules is don't get too close to so much people because you know a lot of people will use whatever you say against against you later on a lot of hard lessons to be learned uh chatty kathy says never accuse someone of like pds stuff yeah like that gets thrown around a lot a lot of things get thrown around a lot and it's just bad. That's why people can't even open up in the community. And people who have opened up, you know, is getting crucified. 
because of you know what they've said when they're being vulnerable it's just a horrible horrible space to be in izzy s hello welcome Miami Vice says people should not be bringing up people's children unless the child explicitly in danger, period. Yeah. Yeah, I hate the bringing up of children. By the time Auntie finishes and everyone goes home, Naz is still cooking, true. Uh, a cook-off against Naz would produce a lot more content such as a Mary Cab video. Mm-hmm. I am not starting problems, but I would like to know if Monty thinks that Negs is a good man. This is a good question, but the problem is I can't answer this question because I don't know Negs. I can't say he's a good or a bad person because I don't know him. I've never met him. I haven't talked to him except online. I don't know his history because it seems he's been online for years. So... It puzzles me that people in this community will say, oh, Negs is bad, but do you truly know Negs? Maybe you've seen clips up about Negs and you're basing your, your answer on that. But for me, I want to answer um, earnestly and honestly. And my answer is I don't know him. So how can I really answer if he's a good or bad? I don't know what he does when he's off camera. I don't know what he does when he isn't, you know, in front of the mic. I, I don't know nothing about him. I don't know enough to answer this question. So that's my answer. Sometimes you can only judge by what a person says online. True. Sometimes you can only, but what are you missing from your answer? Because a person could be one way online and totally different another way. So this is this is what I'm talking about. People are judging other people based on what they see online or what other people tell them. But do you really know that person? So for me, I'm not going to say um, that he's good or he's bad based on just the little I know about him. Because then my my answer wouldn't, you know, wouldn't be earnest. It really wouldn't. And that's just me being fair. Thank you, Ren Farrell. Exactly, fun son. We don't know unless we all live with a person. And even then, there's many people who have lived with people, others for years. And they truly don't know what that person is capable of. So that is very true. Oh, okay. Um, you can answer what you've heard out of his mouth. Um, I'd rather give a fair answer. And my answer is like, I, I don't know enough about Negs to really give an answer whether or not he's a good or, or a bad person. And even with that, it's like, we're all human. I'm sure there's points in all of our, our times, all our lives where somebody might say, hey, Monty is a bad person. Other times in my life, people be like, hey, Monty is a good person. And even sometimes when somebody's saying that, they could have ulterior motives. Sometimes uh, people say that because they're mad at you, because they want to take advantage of you and you didn't allow it. So now you're a bad person. Or maybe you're kind and you're a good person. Like it, it's so nuanced to answer that question that I you got really gotta you know know somebody well enough to really say or give a really good you know answer to that. My voice, uh, that is a disappointing answer. I thought more of you. You might think it's a disappointing answer, but what I'm saying is that that is a fair answer. I don't know him. Just because I see him online doesn't mean I know him. Because I, al I also see um, I also see <laughs> the president of the United States online. Do, does that mean I know him? I also see Mehmet, Mehmet Oz online. Does that mean I know him? I also see Oprah online. I see Donald Trump. Does that mean I know Donald Trump now because I see him online? 
I watch him through uh, YouTube videos. Think about that for a second. I see my prime minister online as well. Does that mean I know him? Think about that. Holly, that was a baby question. Stupid question shouldn't matter. Exactly. Yeah, it's just not the answer that somebody wants, but that's the answer I will uh I will give because uh I I just don't know. That's why I won't say somebody's good or bad unless I truly do know them. Exactly, Lurking Kitty. Just because you watch someone online doesn't mean you know that said person. Exactly. Am I too nice? Well, I would say I was too nice before. Remember all the things I used to do for people? And they come back to slap and spit me in the face. All the things I've done for an ex-mod of mine with their burn injuries. And then all of a sudden videos is being made about me because... She wanted me to go in a mod group and break up her fights that she would constantly cause. It was a completely ridiculous thing to do. I'm I'm an adult at that point in time with a sick mother. I'm not going into mod groups to break up your, your fights with other people. That's just stupid. All of a sudden, I'm this shitty person. Well, I wasn't that shitty person when... I got, what, 6.5, 6.6K in terms of uh, GoFundMe's to help her with her burn injuries. See what I get? Or when I was raising um, a GoFundMe again. So that's uh, for, for cancer. Then all of a sudden people disappear. Lindsay says, Monty, you were used and dragged through the mud over lies and still remained a class act. Thank you. Appreciate it. Harlow says, you don't have to know someone personally in order to be able to judge whether or not what they say or present online is grotesque. Yeah, true. But if we're going to say that... Uh, there's a lot of things that um, could be, you know, brought into question for many people online. Like there, there's many things we could say about everybody else in this community where there's a lot of things that are brought into question of what they've done in the past. And uh, also a lot of positives because, you know, if you have a strong, huge community behind you, you're doing something good. For sure, you're either you're entertaining on some level, either in a good or a bad way. That's why they're watching you. Most people watch Chantel because she's entertaining in what would be described as like a negative way. Hopefully, she can flip that around. Vanessa McCready, hi there. Uh, it's it's a it's a lot of um, back and forth online. Thank you again, Vanessa. And we aren't talking about many just negs. Well, right now I'm I'm not talking about negs. I'm gonna talk about the society as a whole because if it was a neg stream, it would be called making negs make sense, saying goodbye to 2022. And it's not called that. It's not called making negs make sense. It's called making the community make sense. So we're gonna move forward from the next topic. I've given my answer. I don't know anything about negs to really give a fair answer on the the main or say uh, the, the word is fair answer like anybody can answer whether or not negs is good some people say yes some people say no negs is bad and everyone's entitled to your opinion but my answer is that I don't know the guy and I'm not going to say anything about somebody I don't know because that's the whole point of this stream today and yesterday is like people are making shit up. People are saying things about other people when they don't even know them and then they're going off what other people say and taking it as fact. And that is part of the problem. All right.
right. Um, we might wrap this up right now. Everybody, be nice in the chat. Choose happiness says, and why can you just not accept what he's saying? What do you mean, what Negs is saying? I'm like, uh, a lot of people are, are talking about Negs, but if I, one point I, I don't get, if I don't like a YouTuber, I don't watch them. I really don't. I, I just literally move on. So if you don't like Negs, then why watch Negs? This is what I don't get. If you don't like Negs, don't watch Negs. <laughs> why are you watching Negs if you don't like Negs? Holly Magdusa says, why are these people talking about Negs? What about Negs? I don't like it. Don't watch. Exactly. It isn't hard. You, we're saying the same thing. And then I, I give an opinion on Negs, which, which I say, I don't know the dude. I don't know much about Negs. <laughs> And then when that's not good enough, what, you want me to say I don't like them? <laughs> Would that be the, the right answer? Just say you don't like Negs, Monty. Just just say it. Just say you don't like Negs. Then we're all cool again. <laughs> we'll pat you on the back. But why can't I just say I don't know enough about Negs? Why, why would you come into somebody else's channel I want them to talk shit about another creator. And this is the problem. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Once again, it's not it's not called making Negs make sense. It's called making the community make sense. This is part of this is the exact problem that I'm talking about. If you don't like a creator, don't watch the creator. There's how many millions of creators are there on YouTube or channels? Uh, how many YouTube channels? Are there? Let me check right now. There are currently more than 31 million YouTube channels. 31 million YouTube channels that you can watch. Negs is only one of them. Why are you watching Negs if you don't like Negs? Just move on. And if you have an issue with Negs, then why not address it with Negs? Like, I don't understand this. This constant thing of coming on somebody else's channel and then um, stirring things up to have me address Negs. I'm like, if you you want, if you're the one who wants to talk about Negs, I don't. I don't, I don't know Negs. I don't have any issues with Negs. So why am I talking about Negs on my channel? If you want to talk about Negs, you can get your channel or go to Negs' channel. And talk about him. And furthermore, yeah, Negs doesn't owe any of us anything. Why does Negs owe me an explanation? For what? Does he owe you an explanation? Negs doesn't owe me anything. He doesn't owe you anything. If you don't like Negs, then don't watch Negs. That's it. Bottom line. Anyways, um... Erato says DC negs and yeah, Ben Sam need to settle their stuff offline. Um, a lot of people, yeah, aren't interested in the beef. But like I said, hey, um, I can't I can't judge people solely based on what they present online. I think that's a fair answer because I would rather have more information. I'd rather see how they are in real life, and I've never met negs. I'm not. I'm. I you know actually I have been to Indiana. I was gonna say I actually have been to Indiana, but that was a long time ago. I was gonna say I have no intentions of going to Indiana. Well, actually, that's still a fair, fairly accurate. Uh, I was in South Bend a while back. If you know where South Bend is, I went from like Niles to South Bend. I was in that area um, a while ago, and yeah, I mean. I want to keep my channel cool, calm, kosher. If I invite somebody on to, you know, explain something, I would expect respect that, you know, people are just coming on to say their piece in a very calm, cool, collected way. And that's it. And that interest in drama. I don't have problems answering the question, but it seems other people have problems how I answer the question. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly, Easy. It was a question, nothing more. And I answered it, but it seems some people don't like how other people answer questions. And yeah, to be fair, as DC and Eggs are saying, they don't owe anything to anybody. I don't owe anything to you. You don't owe anything to me. Mary continues, the problem is that when you say you don't like someone, you are treated like shit for having an opinion, right? Well, anyways, I better wrap this up. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for coming in and, you know, chatting about 2022 and coming into 2023. And I am out of here. Thanks so much. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We'll be doing this more. So if you want to come on panel, come on panel. And I am out. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. <music>